We're Jazz and Crystal. This is Bella and Izzy. We've been living and traveling in our van for the last two and a half years. Last week, we moved to an off-grid cabin alone in the woods, and we're challenging ourselves to learn how to live remotely. Join us each Sunday as we share our adventures, subscribe to our channel, and join the pack. Before we get into it, we're partnering with Omaze to give away a brand new Mercedes 4x4 Sprinter van. Head on over to omaze.com forward slash van wives. You're gonna get a shoe tan. Okay, I, I want one. You wanna look like my feet? Is it gonna rain? The weather's super unpredictable here. It was like a, really sunny a minute ago. We'll look get some rain. Oh yeah, it's a storm, eh? Yeah, passing through. Look at the breeze. I literally don't know of a better way to start a day than in nature. All the feels this morning. Okay. Morning, morning. As you can see, we got the van down last night, but probably wasn't the smartest idea as it poured rain last night. We literally woke up to a thunderstorm, but that's okay. We don't really need the van right now because we still have Todd's and Todd's truck. Thank you so much. And since we have that truck, we thought we'd get rid of all this stuff. We enjoyed seeing the shed and the porch so clean that we said, Let's tackle the whole cabin! Woo! Uh, I feel so good today. Been lucky. Uh, woo! What a lovely day. Woke up on a vibe, y'all. Got a brand new thing. Oh, I'm gonna go bring him over there. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. So cute. We're gonna put you somewhere really safe. <laughs> Got it. It's my lucky day. My lucky day. Damn. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Check out this. Let's roll. Bumpy. I think it's safe to say we uh, may need a truck that's four-wheel drive ourselves. <laughs> this is wild. The van could never get out of here. It just poured last night. Good driving. Thanks. <laughs> I love the truck. It's me, man. It's me. Thanks to Elizabeth. She even helped out. <laughs> that was awesome. I've never had someone help with the dump. <laughs> it was super nice. All right, very back, back. Uh, On to the next one.
<laughs> the sun is peeking on out. It wants us to have a good day moving. But working in the rain isn't that bad. How hot is this? Not that hot. Nothing like a fresh brew at the little local gas station. <laughs> Chris has made friends with them. Oh, you've already started moving the couch, dear. It's really heavy. That means let's get to work, Jasmine. It's actually pure metal. Is he sad to see this couch go? She really likes it. Ready, Izzy? Whoa, wizard, Come look at this. There you go. There you go. New dog bed. There you go. Bells is outside. There you go. There you got a little smarter. Take apart the bed before you try to move it. Easy go. Get away from me. You can throw up, baby. Yeah! Muscles! Stop! On the way! Kobe! Did you see that? seen the rain? Far too much. Mm -hmm. It just poured on her way home and now look at it. Clear again. It's on and off. Literally on and off. I feel like we are living in Oregon. Coastal life baby. Surrounded by giant ferns, pouring rain. Trees, nature. <laughs> look at this cutie. You're a cutie. Wow is he? Look at cute. that's gonna have to do for our civic address because we're getting internet today. And what do we have up here? We have two boxes of about a hundred different jigsaw puzzles. Games on rainy days. I'm gonna go through them and I've chose all my faves. <laughs> what are they? The rest we gotta go because there's too many. And some wood, eh? Yeah. Oh, I could have made a nice sign on one of this. That's fair enough. Or just hold the ladder. You don't even go to a hairdresser and they take off an inch? That's all you have. No, because I never do that. Oh, no, I just have longer legs. Wow. Just stop. Oh. Jasmine, it's like the <laughs> farthest thing from funny. Well, Crystal found some friends up in the attic. Ants, if anyone has any uh, tips and suggestions, let us know how to take care of those. We'll probably call it an exterminator just to get this whole thing taken care of. And while she was out there doing that, I was hanging out with Lee. Lee showed up here today as a morning dove. She literally looked at me. And then Crystal was yelling for me to come down to get her off the ladder. And I was like, I'm hanging out with Lee. And then Lee looked at me and told me, go help her off that ladder. Because <laughs> as she would. And then she flew away because I wasn't leaving. Because I didn't want to leave her. And I knew Crystal would just be fine up there. <laughs> Those little moments. Attic is clean. And Crystal made a good point. If ants are our worst problem, it's we're doing good, pretty well. It's a good problem to have. Good problem to have. Uh, initially, I was like, oh, there's probably a freaking raccoon or something out there. <laughs> Not the case. Not the case at all. And just in time, look who showed up. <sighs> all right. Internet person has arrived. They don't want to be on camera. So I'm just going to take a seat and do absolutely nothing but wait. How's it going in there? Oh, good. It's all booster in there. 
Oh, we need one? Yeah, because I gotta complete the, uh, I gotta provision the modem. Okay. And uh, I need some data. Not sure if you heard that, but he needs a signal booster. We're in the middle of nowhere. I like it though. I wouldn't change it for the world. Oh my gosh, it's just coming down right now. We gotta get used to this because we live on the coast now. That being said, I'm not gonna get out of the truck right now. I'm gonna take this opportunity to tell you about Omaze. We briefly mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you've never heard of Omaze, they give away one of a kind prizes and while doing so, donate money to charities all around the world. We're partnering with Omaze and they're giving away a brand new 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter van. That is the dream. I cannot imagine what it'd be like to have a brand new van on the road, 4x4, can get through anything and take you absolutely anywhere. It's ready for adventure as it's fully equipped and converted with an $80,000 conversion from Vansmith. The professionals at Vansmith. This isn't just any van, it is gorgeous. That includes a full roof of solar, all of the inside luxuries, as well as the option for exterior upgrades. And every entry supports the Honold Foundation. They believe that solar is a proven environmentally sound solution to global energy poverty. It's truly incredible what they're doing. Their mission is to shift the narrative and provide people equal access to opportunity and the ability to live in balance with the environment. To potentially win a beautiful, ready to hit the road, four x four Mercedes Sprinter van and support a great cause while you're at it, head on over to Amazon com forward slash fan wives. Thanks for doing the shopping, honey. You're welcome. See our internet? On the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the big satellite. I like that it's black. Yeah, it's nice. It's not that bad, eh? Yeah, that's cool. Well, at least we have 150 gigs now. Do you know how much electricity that takes to have on? 44 watts. Cool. It's nice. I just don't need it right now, so. Plug it in when you need it. Cool. Missed you. Missed you, more. Oh, thank you. Salt, and you know what? My fave? Huh? My fave? Butter. Ketchup. Oh, you butter. <laughs> She's a rookie. Do you want to do that again or no? No. Okay. <laughs> You're making me look bad. You're looking bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's sunny now. It's been raining for days and we've been missing all that rain. You wanna fix that? Ready for off-grid living. Fashion. Well, this is what happens sometimes where I forget the instructions and I start winging it because I think I know what I'm doing and then I have to redo it. But I guess that's how you learn. So the trick to building a wheelbarrow is get yourself a crystal. <laughs> Just kidding, well not really. But it's also to keep all of these things loose. And then it's glorious. Just built a wheelbarrow all by myself. <laughs> 440 pounds. <laughs> so it's the hold this both, eh? There you go. Glad we got the steel one versus the plastic, hey? Yeah, very smart decision. It's a good one. It's a good one. Good one. All right. I'm already tired. Take us to the cafe. Take us to the cafe, lady. Still here. Table four. Um, they're half prepared. Why, thank you. Table that four. is service. Tip. No beer. Welcome back. We're back to it. Welcome back. We're right back to it. I've got one wheel like the wheelbarrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. cool. That wheelbarrow's putting you in your place, eh? 
Oh, whatever, so it's Bella. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavier than me. Go, lady, go, 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 go! Oh, no! <laughs> That's one way to clean up. <laughs> that is some serious hard work. I didn't realize how much crusher dust I got. It looks like it's gonna be able to do more than one project, which is pretty awesome. Wow. I thought like I thought the wheelbarrow would make things easier, but dang, you gotta be strong to pull that thing full. We're gonna get real strong out here. <laughs> Come on, Jazzy! My uh, shadow and me are here. <laughs> <laughs> Bella's following us around the yard. All day, right, Barry? Ready? I think we might have to get the clearing saw back out. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> this would be like the the perfect area to have it anyway. The first thing with every project on the land is prepare the spot so you can actually start working. <sighs> Paper, scissors, rock. I just need one minute. <laughs> I wanna go look what you did. Open them now? Yep. I'm nervous. Come on. Yeah? yeah, come on. Whoa, it's flatter than I thought, eh? Yeah, same. I thought we were gonna be like working on like a hill like this. this yeah. Is sick. Good job. And it's kind of neat too this because nice. when we do put the rainwater collection system in, we'll have it here all nice and flat. But then there is a down slope, so we'll put some pea gravel down and any runoff, if the tanks get full, we'll go down there, away from the house. You're a thinker. I've been watching uh, some channels you all suggested, thank you. Because I'm uh, using all of our internet on YouTube videos. Yikes. But uh, I don't, I forget what they're called, but they have like huge barrels. We could actually fit. Oh, like massive Massive. Barrels. We could actually fit like three here. Mm -hmm. Am I pushing it? But potentially. Anyways, we'll start small because <laughs> I think part of like living off grid, I was always like, I don't want to do like a job twice. But I think it's actually really cool to see how you progress. Like the first year you could be like showering with like a bag, but the second year you could have like an outdoor shower that's like um, not like pressurizes the pump. But then the third year you could literally have like a whole pump, whole system. It's just cool to see the progression. Yeah, know? we'll see where we go with Things this. get easier. So we'll start with the IBC. Yep. Time to build. Time to swim. Time to swim? Always keep your partner happy. Good morning, dear. Good morning. You're beautiful. Thank Sunny, you. so do you. Thank you. Look at you go. Table saw set up. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat in the morning. Look at the miter saw. Yeah. <laughs> you look great with all these tools. <laughs> I tell you that much. I like you in here. <laughs> Thank How's you. the miter saw going? That's going. <laughs> you know how these instruction books go. They're always a little more, they're time consuming. You're doing great. Thanks. It's fun. This is a beast, eh? Yeah, love it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we've mapped out where our structure is going to go on the pavers, which are these things. But, because we're working on such uneven ground, we have to use crusher duster to build them up and then make sure it's all level. That way you don't tip over. I feel like clearing and making everything level is probably the hardest part. And then once you do that, you're cruising. Three out of six. How was it? Be harder. I know we did the easy ones first. Yeah. I think exactly. that might be a rookie mistake. What? Yeah. Real. Well, we got good practice. Yeah, you're right. Actually, what a positive thinker. Oh, it's easy to be positive when we got the clouds right now for shade. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, you're worshiping the sun. I Woo! Last 
paver. It'd be a lot easier if your land was already flat or excavated, which we want to do. But to find an excavator to come out is probably the most difficult job. So Richie, when are you coming? That's the excavator. And how many feet do you have? Oh, okay, okay. But how, um, how wide do those come? And you've got lots? Amazing. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> you are the best. You know how to make me smile. Which colors for me? I don't care. You just split them in half and then you can both have each color. Love it. Alright, so we've actually made it really quite far today already. Are you, really are you happy with what we've done? Where yeah. are you going? I'm playing. You're leaving my frame. The lava is on the ground. <laughs> are you the queen of the water tower? Yeah. <laughs> we got place. everything leveled. The landscaping fabric is down, which acts as a barrier so that we know weeds come through, as well as when we do lay rocks or wood chips, whatever our foundation thing that's going to make it look pretty, um, we won't need as much because it won't sink into the... Earth. Dirt, the yeah. earth, less money, looks great. Yeah. No weeds, no maintenance. It's almost like a net, which is like awesome because like any, the ground is really uneven. So this will actually save us a lot of money whenever we do or time or whatever. All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> now time for the fun part. <laughs> because the ground up here is much higher than the ground down here. What we did is we made all the top three level and then all the bottom three level. And that way, this post will just be different sizes than those posts, obviously. So get the handy dandy level out, the lazy level. Really, really cool. Yeah, I don't know how we would do this without Bosch. Woo, who's that? <laughs> yeah, you can hear them minutes down the road. It's so quiet out here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How was the drive? Good. Oh, oh our friends. <laughs> Libo. Woo. <laughs> to work in the dark crystal. Thanks, my dear. <laughs> Woohoo! We made it! <laughs> so we just did a little experiment, put that jug there because it's been on and off raining, half an hour. Baby's full. Now you can water your plant babies. Love it. <laughs> Happy. I think it's a really good entry level for when we build our massive deck right here. And all the other little projects. It's a good starting point. Really good starting point. Because we've only ever really built in a van. We're learning new things. We're learning, Feels good. so new. Yeah. It's awesome. Todd's also been such a great help. Playing with Tyler getting the shots. But like, our first project back to building. So happy to have him. <laughs> well, we almost have a completed rainwater collection system. And it's kind of ironic that we're working through the periods of rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's <Okay>. literally <laughs> on and off all day. We're gonna collect a lot. <laughs> oh, are we ever? These are gonna fill up so fast. And this is so good for us because this is our first source of water. We'll rely on this immensely. I mean, like we can use it for- Not for drinking. We'll Chris has already got plants and we don't have water. Yes. So we need to, we need to water those the as plants, well as- Showering. Showering. Dishes. Any cleaning. All of that stuff yeah. that you don't want to use your drinking water for. Yeah, this is sweet. Yeah. And it's good for backup situations. If one day we ever had a well, this could be the backup. It's not 100% completed. We have to connect it to the east drop. However, those need to be cleaned and probably redone. We don't want any of the asphalt, asphalt to come in here, as well as these need a black um, cover. cover, so mm -hmm. that way no algae happens. So Yeah, that's that's absolutely essential. Yeah. So those are on the way. Yeah, But, but when like, you live in the woods, things take time. <laughs> See you yeah. Sunday for more. See you Sunday. Ciao. Ciao. You're popping a wheelie. Save my ice coffee. What am I saying right now? Just, cool. Hey, hey you.
Don't forget, head on over to amaze.com forward slash vanwives for your chance to win a Mercedes Sprinter van and support a great cause.